This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello and welcome back to MDG Media's coverage of the Nokia Open 2023. This is the fourth stop on the European Pro Tour. We got round two front nine action from the MPO. I'm Andrew Gum, and I got Tommy Tico with me. How you doing this morning? Hello, I'm, you know, slept well. I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. <laughs> One commentary more. <laughs> all right. I'm ready, man. All right. All right, all right. Bringing the energy. We got Mikel Hame. He was the Tour Points champion from last year on the European Pro Tour. 100% C1X putting day one. That's how you get yourself on that lead card. And we got Lauri Lehtinen from Jyväskylä, from my city actually, leading by same stroke as Mikael Hamet. They both share the lead. Sponsored by Latitude 64, man, this young kid is so fun to watch. Yeah, incredibly talented star. But nobody's quite as hot as Mauri Vielman right now. Getting, getting himself back on the lead card again. We've seen him all year long. From Estonia, 92% C1X putting. And Christian Guax, actually one of my favorite players. You know, big arm kid coming from Oulu. You know, he eating some steroids or something, man. How, how other you can <laughs> throw that far? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yeah, he's special. Everyone loves watching him play. He's got mad skills, incredible distance. But a, a fair bit of touch as well, and his putting's come a long way. He's been really, really shooting lights out this year, huh? Yeah, his his form is smooth on everything, man. Yeah, yeah, great player. Let's get started off on hole one, par three, 115 meters with the low ceiling, and uh, pretty fair gap, but quite a lot of OB. You got this, that OB fence there, and then you got this little OB trap there on the left where the righty backhands want to land. So if you're looking to attack it for the right-handed guy, yeah, like you said, you need kind of like a, a backhand turnover. The forehand's more of the safe play that'll kind of bail you out at best C2 usually. But it's safer on that right side. Yeah, just keep the disc low, not like this. Okay, the kicks here was pretty nice. But yeah, just keep disc low so if you're hitting the trees, you're not going over the fence. right yeah Lowry shot catches one of the later trees I believe it's safe and Maori just textbook turnover check this out on a rope all the way oh through a tree catches that last tree but it <laughs> kicks him in the circle though I think it would have went long in the basket that was such a pure line Christian just smoothly going about 50% power here look like not sure exactly where it ended up. Yeah, but no. Not all the way to the basket, but... No else looking for birdie except Maori. So here guys just pitching out second shot to the basket. Yeah, I think everybody is a little too far away from the pin to really attack. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's kind of a kind of a bonus birdie, really. You don't... I guess it averaged uh, 3.25. So right there in the middle as far as difficulty but only eight percent birdies so not not as easy uh, to really get the two but oh three feels okay on this one yeah great start there nice birdie start from maori he actually tied for the lead now with that one poor birdie that's that's right taking a stroke on the card and Leveling things off at the top there. We did have one park job today from Jona Hirvinen. You know him? No, not really. Familiar no. name. Good park. Yeah, good park job anyway. Only one in the field. Yeah, I just can't imagine, man. Starting your day with tapping birdie on pretty hard hole. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, must must be a great feeling. <laughs> oh, for sure. Moving on. Hole two. Uh, downhill part three. 101 meters. Very steep sloping right to left hillside here. Baskets framed up beautifully right beyond these trees. 
really got to stick this green, but it's not easy. Rollaways are fairly common. Yeah, on the as we said before, the it seems to shape up for that forehand best, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's it's for yeah. sure better for sidearm or forehand. I don't know. Is there a different sidearm or forehand? No, really. No, no. It's no. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. It's just two different terms. I don't know. Forehand sounds more natural to me, but sidearm works just fine as well. I think they're both like perfectly accurate for describing it. I think I I think I heard like from some maybe American players that they use the sidearm turn more. That's why I'm like turning into it. But forehand is coming. Okay. Coming like more natural yeah. for me. But now I'm using sidearm because I'm just you know, keeping using it. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I think it's fine either way. I think there's like even in the in the states, it's kind of people. You know, it's like fifty fifty. Okay. Some, some people like different regions call it different things. It's and only backhand it's from Guoxa. Totally understood oh. either way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit soft. Maybe I didn't think you meant to put a little bit more speed or or angle on that because yeah, it just kind of faded out left. I think quick. if if you try to attack with backhand, you have to come like with Anheuser hold the way to the pin so your disc like just you know just crash to the ground and go like pow 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 to be nice oh yeah yeah so it doesn't pop up on angle and roll down like well here that was pretty unlucky it didn't didn't look like a bad shot but yeah yeah coming off the tee though you, uh, I hear what you mean you want to match the angle of the disc with the with that hill slope yeah but it's hard to navigate. Oh, great putt from Lauri for saving par. Wow. Really good stroke. Lauri to go two for two. And he got right it. Right on the circle's edge. Yeah. He's actually leading the world in birdie rate right now. No way. 54%. Yeah, 54% almost. Whole world. <laughs> Miko, huh, man? Can you believe that? Yeah, he's good, man. He's good. <laughs> Mika with a great birdie as well. That was solid. You know, Maori should play in yeah. states that we so we sh should have some, you know, <laughs> chance to win here in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> he's not making it easy for y'all, is he? Oh no. That last one averaged two point nine yeah, two point nine seven, so right around par. Twenty two percent birdies. Here we are on hole three, par three, 98 meter straight shot, quite uphill on the end of it, which makes it play like like a lot more, maybe 115-ish. You got to just kind of thread the needle through this gap. And if you can uh, get it to land just past that tree stump that we flew over, then you can skip up towards the basket in the circle and have a birdie look. Some of the more pure lines will land in the air up there towards the basket, but that takes a, a really, really nice touch and perfect speed and angle control. This one averaging at uh, 2.97 as well. Exact same as the last one. Oh, wow. Interesting. So you are not winning. You are not winning, actually, with the par. Mm -hmm. Oh, this MPO. Not much. MP, MPO <laughs> card. You know. three. Yeah. MPO yeah. field, man, it's, you know, getting so rough to be good. Mad skills out there. Yeah, you have to be really on point. Dialed in every day. I like Maori. I like Maori a little man. bit short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every shot, just like perfect execution. And yo, know, look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that Heiser flip. Pure line. With the mid range. Ooh. Wow. Lowry is so incredibly talented. And he's a super fierce competitor, coming back from injury, so he's not quite back 100%, but he's starting to get there. That was a pretty amazing shot there. And he's he's throwing the yellow dis actually pretty much. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's a gatekeeper. Yeah. West side gatekeeper, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like a four-speed disc, I think. Yeah, something like with mid-range, mid yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not a very common disc. It's kind of interesting. Oh, nice delivers pretty. Christian there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Good to bounce back after that unfortunate roll away back on hole two, cost him the bogey. Maori. Turkey, turkey time. Gobble gobble right from the start. 
That guy loves birdies, just eats them up all day long. And he's going... Lowry, about as easy as you'll ever see it done, yeah. And Lowry going for a solo lead for now. 10 under. Left two guys yeah. behind. You know, and it happens so fast. It's like pow, 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 three birdies, leading, leading the tournament. <laughs> easy peasy, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, may, <laughs> he makes it look too easy, doesn't he? He's just, just rolling and, yeah. Just be on the point. An incredible disc golfer. For sure. Yeah, hole, hole four is a par four, the first par four, 175 meters, quite uphill off the tee shot with a tight tunnel. That's it, you're gonna get up and then the second shot, is really cluttered with trees, beautiful views, nice protected green here, and a death drop straight to the lake off the edge there. You're good until you're somewhere on the right. I think early, early right is okay-ish. I think there is no chance to birdie, but but if you're like going rough deep into the right side. Well, like pin high, man, you can't be in trouble. Yeah, yeah, there's all that right side. It's it's not only really thick with woods, but it's really steep sloped, and it's the footing's bad. And it's uh, it's slippery. Kind of a dangerous place to end up, and not easy to find your way back to the fairway either. That that was pretty good. Got all the way up there. Lowry had kicked pretty far right, so we'll see what he's working with, but. Mikal just creams it through the gap, moving Ooh. left. That works nice. out pretty well. It kind of opens up a, a bit of a different shot on your second one. Kind of two, like, main lanes, but they're both quite tight. Whoa, nice flex forehand here from Lowry. Oh, middle. On... Getting up there pretty far. Yeah, he made it. He yeah, made right it. in the center fairway. Have you ever seen an eagle on this? A distance from down there. Eagle? No. Have you? No, I, I, I try to land like sidearm, but I think on the closer tee, there's two, two tees. Uh, this one is too little, little like uh, far away from the, oh, from the previous one. So I think the okay. sidearm is like somebody could get the eagle with the first tee, but not with the second tee, with the farther one. It's a bit too far and uphill. I mean, we, we saw Rasmus Salkari do some crazy stuff with the forehand flexes in Belgium, but that's. A, I think this is maybe a little bit, a little too much, a little bit out of reach with the uphill. Maybe if you get to like 40, 50 meters and then throw it in, but that's so scary with that green, you know? Yeah, I can see. But people are doing crazy stuff. I sometimes it blows my mind. I mean. Ooh. I hope Christian's upshot is staying on the edge. I think it, it stayed on the shelf there because there's like a, if it goes off with not much speed and it just trickles off the edge, there's a little, actually like a small shelf where that'll catch those ones. But if, if it's coming fast, then, it's, then it usually goes down. Maori keeping it perfect. Oh. Four for four. Is he going minus, he's, minus 18? He's starting to... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's on pace for it. Yeah, it seems Christian, like. <laughs> Christian goes well there. Oh, man. It sure looks like it. I, I don't see any signs of weakness from that guy. And he's easy marching tapping. on. Birdie train. Easy tapping for that guy actually, He drives the birdie train. Oh, he's, yeah. He's the conductor. Mount Revealman, toot toot, all aboard. He just fills it up with birdies and takes them all over the place. Having a good time out there for sure. Full five. Part three, 67 meters uphill, playing closer to 100. Just kind of a touch hyzer for the righty backhand. You try to get it to skip and settle up nice on that mound green. 
closer you get, the better on this one. Putting can be a problem if you're if you're not feeling confident. Any any miss will almost certainly finish outside the circle as this mound doesn't really allow him to check up. And I've seen only one sidearm so so far from. Yes, they need me. Yes, they need me from. Yeah, I've never thought about somebody could land it, land it on this hole. But yeah, guys, it it's possible. <laughs> yeah, and we yeah we did see perfect line from yesterday shaping it with this harp. Mallory just put that right up next to the basket. He's gonna be five for five. A pretty good start out here, in Nokia. Guess it's supposed to be hard. Not for Maori Wheelman. No. Here's Lowry with a little bit lower line. Skips, curls up inside the circle. Yeah, inside the circle on this level. About seven meters. On this level, inside the circle is is great great place to be. I I mean like. People training, putting so much, so they just have to, you know, leave their self to get some birdie actions from the green. Yeah, that's right. You have to be confident putter these days and capitalize on all your opportunities because, I mean, if you're not scoring, you know somebody else is. Lowry actually got razzed by a, a bike there was a bicycle and they were like ringing their horn there and i remember he broke his concentration he was he tried to reset and then he missed that putt from inside the circle there was some distractions he was unable to kind of uh ignore so he ends up three putting makes good on this one luckily but birdie to bogey just like that oh man bogey on this one is Rough. Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow, especially watching your card mates all take birdies, and you know it's playing as one of the easier holes. Today it was the easiest at 2.55. 60% birdies in the field. Now we're five for five. Oh man! Great start. I think it's more surprising if he's not taking birdie. <laughs> how, yeah, that's what, how he that's what missed? I'm, I'm thinking what? Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just assume he's getting a birdie, and then if he's not, we'll be we'll be shocked and surprised. <laughs> Let's do a commentary like that for Maori. For exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it's all six par four, 175 meters. Another tight tunnel shot. And it's uh, yeah, yeah, really beautiful. It kind of moves a little bit, a uh, little bit downhill, and then kind of back uphill at the very end of it here on the green. And the green is very well guarded with these low-hanging branches and trees inside the circle. And yeah, you can't quite see it so much, but it's pretty steep right to left hill side again. Yeah, two side arms are are pretty common play here. We have seen some rollers, but I don't know. For me, I just don't see the line for the roller. Backhand turnover is, yeah, is good as well. Yeah, it's a lot well. riskier. I've seen some pretty good backhand turnovers that, that actually go like left side of this tree that Mikael's going around right now. Yeah, that works. That works and They just kind of sure. slowly drift, drift over to that right. But yeah, you definitely want to be on the right side to open up that second shot because otherwise on the left you don't usually have much of a shot up and down. The only thing you don't want to do the hit early three or whatever tree oh i think even that that's attackable because he didn't hit any yeah, there's, trees there's like sir yeah yeah there's a few spots where it opens up like a backhand hyzer line up towards the green kind of hard to park it that way but you can get up like you know near the circle but yeah you're just hoping you don't kick far left or or far right ob that's oy, oy, oy. Not looking great for Lowry. Yeah, early tree kick. It looked hard left, didn't it? Here you have some gaps, yes. And Christian made it pretty nice. No fade, but he's yeah. obstructed circle two. Oh yeah, he got he got himself to putt from that actually. 
Uh, Miko with a crafty sidearm from a standstill with some tricky footing on the hill and it's late trees, but he's there just outside the circle. And here's Maori just making the hole look easy. Look at that. <laughs> just oh, yeah, it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> well, 646. Four, six. But yeah, we can't react. That's, that's, that's what you get. You got Maori here. Oh, man. And now, now he's got like a. I mean, okay, Mikael's trying to stay with him, but. I mean, he's, you know. On fire. Yeah, he's running away. Yeah. That's what we've seen pretty much all season long from him. This is no fluke. This guy's legit, man. He's here for real. Yeah, he actually won Copenhagen and Estonian Open, right? Yep. Yeah. As well as the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in, in Helsinki here. Oh, yeah. Tally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tali, man. He yeah, got like three wins so far. Oh, man. And there's only... We played only six yep. competition. I think he's only played four. Wow. He, the only loss he has this year is in, is in Belgium. I mean, he's played a couple smaller events, but I think he... I'm not sure. I guess he lost the Estonian Winter Championships. But, yeah, I mean, he... Like, for the European Pro Tour, the only event he's lost is... Uh, Belgium, yeah. when Tame Utali kind of was on fire. Oh, yeah. What a great uh, tap in birdie there from Maori. Oh, for sure. Oh. Six for six through those woods, man. That's like. Now we move out into the open. Hole seven, par five, 271 meters. OB lining fairway both right and left. It starts to pinch down right about here. So you either want to just uh, play it safe and, and short there of the pinch point. Or if you want a little bit more, you can end up out here. And then uh, a lot of the second shots will end up somewhere up around this road. You got the really, really big arm arms like we do have on this card. Then uh, Eagle is definitely in play. Um, but yeah, very rare. Birdie's even quite a, quite a nice result. Basket perched up right, quite tricky spot there on that uh, fine hill. Now we're going with that feedback. Have you thrown that disc? No, no. I, I, I tried it in my hand from Christian, but never like tried to throw it. Yeah. Very popular with the Prodigy sponsored players. It seems like they're all bagging it. Oh, Maori pushed that one a little bit too long though, so he's he's gone OB. I think Brody kind, Bur kind of was in between. Brody them. is not coming to play until he's going like throwing, but the green is pretty scary yeah, to do that. Yeah. Oh, first mistake. Yeah, we might see the end of our. Exactly. Yeah, he's been perfect so far, six for six, but now gonna have to. Um, really clean things up here to get the sa the par save. It's going to have take a few good shots. Christian bombs it way up there. He's like almost halfway to the hole now. <laughs> and you see from the leaves, there is no wind. Like, yeah, there's a little wind, but it's not really coming to play. It's not just like, you know, regular wind, but not really, not really pushing the disc anywhere. Yeah, just a gentle breeze. Much better conditions than yesterday where it was swirling. Mallory with a really nice recovery shot here. Just laser straight, great distance. Oh, yeah. Up past the road there and just needs another good shot to save his pot. Miko moving left to right. That's safe play, yeah. And, yep, there he is. The short of the, that path. I think with the second shot, you really have to have to be close to this these trees if you want to attack the birdie because if you're if yeah. you're too far away those gaps are looking too small to hit the gaps right and you have to kind of go the long way around the right side and Quoxa. look at this okay big huge sky hyzer Oh, crashes in. <laughs> Hold on, <for> man. <laughs> Look at it. And it stays right up there by the basket. I mean, 
that's insane power and really good control to land it there on on the green that wasn't so hard to stick this green. and that was that wasn't like that far away from the ob like ob is just behind that yeah. little hill but he like he lands yeah exactly he lands on it perfectly and he's in the circle maybe six meters looking for first eagle in the tournament yeah oh yeah trying to get the only only eagle of the event so far the whole averaging uh 5.41 so eagle takes two and a half strokes on the field this is the fourth most difficult 24 percent able to get the birdie oh man with with that power i told you <laughs> he's he's special man he can he can throw a disc for miles maori gonna get right back on the birdie train or no sorry that's just a part save yeah part save after the ob Excuse me, a little tired. <laughs> it's okay. That, and that, that that shot from Christian, yeah, that kind of <laughs> got my heart pumping. It's fourth from. And uh, Mikael, yeah. Trying to get his par here. Oh. Ah, just a little bit soft. Hits the nubs and chains, but. Doesn't collect. Is it nervous? Gonna be the first bogey for Miko. Yeah, not sure. Great birdie there from Lowry. And now moment of truth. I think. Yeah, Coxa. Come on, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a crazy, crazy eagle. Right corner pocket. Little smile, the gallery's going nuts. Oh yeah. Love to see it. What a what a incredible highlight there from Christian Quoxa. <laughs> see that blue on the scorecard. Insane highlight. It's crazy. Mika. Mika with an unfortunate bogey there. He he was in great position all the way till the very end and then he kinda just seemed like he lost concentration, failed to get up and down, and then missed that short putt. Here we are on hole eight, par three, 102 meters. There's this cent center line here where the drone is flying. That's uh, a little, quite a bit more risky, I suppose. If you have that power forehand up, up around the left side wide, then that seems to be the safest, most uh, high percentage play for the for the righties. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll probably see mostly forehands on this card. It seems like everyone's got that. At that distance yeah with the backhand it's it's definitely a little risky because there's so many trees and ob is so close oh this looks a little wide oh I hit yeah this is oh he hit that that was unlucky there's like those little um electric boxes for cars to charge their uh batteries and he hit that square up and it kept him ob that's just pretty unlucky i don't think i've ever seen that before that's a perfect one there oh stop 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 nice. got a little squirrely at the end that was kind of unfair roll but he's still on the circle but yeah have you ever seen a, a shot hit those little electric boxes like that never like like christian did like those i don't know it's yeah, like so unlucky zero point two percent that you can hit just that electric pole i think it it was a little too low from the Christian right. as well. You need a little yeah, bit more height. Yeah. So, so it, it's it, so they, the, they're the this kind of stalls at the end. And yeah, they're not really coming to play, but the shot was just you know perfect for hitting it. So great roll oh. there, Mikael's forehand, and he get himself a birdie. That'll be a nice way to bounce back after that bogey. But yeah, this is the only hole I birdied every round last year. At the Nokia Open, and I took that center line every time with the back. Oh, so you get buried but, um, from back line, backhand here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. I don't have I don't have that power forehand. Check it out, Maori. Oh, I guess just putting it close. No, I guess we need. I thought he was running. We it. need two he eagles or two yeah. or two holy ones to keep the perfect. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna have to. <laughs> he wants that 18 down. He's gonna. <laughs> He's going to have to get a couple aces or either. It was a nice putt for Christian to save his bogey. Yeah. Maybe that uh, eagle kind of got his 
Got his uh, heart rate up and he missed the line there. It was just a little bit off the tee. Solid putt there from Lowry. Great putt. Yeah. Nice to see Lowry getting stringing a couple birdies together. Easy bird for tapping Tom. birdie. That was great. A little thumb up. Yeah. That's moving on to the last hole of the front nine, and it is a tough one. Long par three, 131 meters. There you see the basket. Really, in, I guess the OB left and right. You want to try to just keep it in bounds here. MPO that you, you kind of feel like you have to attack the basket, but not an easy line. There's like the way wide side kind of crashing on the back side of the green if you got that kind of power. Otherwise, you got to contend with that all those trees and that water hazard coming in right to left there. This hole is so easy to bogey and so hard to bury yeah. so like chances here to throw the perfect shot is oh man oh we got like talented guys here but i i'm not sure i don't think that's easy for them either i don't think it's easy for anybody it's yeah super super tough 3.51 average so that makes it the third hardest on the course only seven percent birdies today oh this is not looking good Go through no, no. There you see it hit the bank and roll back into the pond. He's gonna have to take it on the other side of the pond. Shapes up for a beautiful highlight, uh, par save, but not easy at all. We had nobody park this hole today. Oh, did you see? But, did, uh, interestingly, we did. Did you see yeah, the? Yeah, I was just gonna say. Go ahead. <laughs> did you see the Daniel's uh, the yeah. top hit? Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, that's what I was I was just going to say that, yeah. Yeah, Daniel Davidson came in with a perfect line. This is a little too left on with the hyzer, but he came with the perfect line through the trees over the pond and skipped off the top of the basket. And unfortunately, it launched it like into the pond on the other side over over on uh, where hole 13 is. Oh man. So, unfortunately, he ended up taking a bogey, but I mean, what a what a super close call for the ace on this one. This would be one of the crazier aces. <laughs> 131 meters with a really tight, you know. Man, is this the is this the uh, a lot of stuff at the end? Is this the lead card we're watching? Every player is OB. Yes. Man. Yeah, this this hole's tripping him up, isn't it? Mowry almost saved the par there, but that's gonna be a, a bogey comebacker. Lowry with a great run from a knee. Just short. Oh, this is tough for our lead card here. But everybody is cleaning up yeah, their they're struggling. Yeah, they cleaning up their bogey here. Okay. But still still not really what you're looking for. No. Oh, rare miss there from Maori. That's gonna be a double bogey. Oh man. And the first real sign sign of weakness or frustration at all. He had that flaming hot start and now he's gonna have to give two of those back. He's Mikael also missed his putt. Oh man, that was a shorty. Just kind of bounced out the bottom, it looked like. Maori's a human, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But just for a moment. <laughs> just for this moment. <laughs> Sometimes he, he looks like a superhero for sure. But yeah, yeah, there you know, he's giving everybody a chance to stay with him. Little mistake there. But yeah, what an exciting front nine. Got to see that crazy eagle from Christian. Six birdies rattled off in a row from Maori. He's up there with a two-stroke lead. Daniel Davidson, as we said, charging. He's four down through the front nine. Almost had that ace. That was three strokes different there. So he's really on fire. Yes, and... Yes, he in and putting in work. He's six down, yeah. Crazy, crazy. And uh, Vile Ahokas, seven. Seven through nine for Vile Ahokas. <laughs> That's wild, man. What a... What a great start. Wow. He's having a great year as well. Well played from the guys. 
but yeah come on thanks a lot for uh joining me here thank Tommy, you and everybody come on back for the back nine we'll see you out there see you soon